Well, here we are for the World Taekwondo Recap Show. I'm delighted to be joined by Canada's Skylar Park. Great to see you. Great to see you too. <laughs> and of course, we're going to talk a little bit about yesterday's competition. You're a junior world champion, Grand Slam competitor, and now a Grand Prix medalist. How was the day and how do you feel? I'm obviously super excited to have won my first Grand Prix medal yesterday. Uh, as of starting from last year, the goal was always uh, to win a Grand Prix medal, always steps working in towards the ultimate goal. Um, so I was really happy with yesterday being able to achieve that, and now we're just working towards getting better and better and hopefully being on top of that podium. Sure, and it's literally step by step, which I was talking about from junior champion into the Grand Slam, that whole experience. What do you feel that you've learned from last year in terms of Grand Prix experience that's put you onto the podium this time? Uh, yeah, last year was like a huge learning experience for me. So uh, coming from the juniors, it's very different, I guess. It's a very different game and there's a lot to learn. It's more mentally, you have to be stronger mentally, tougher. And it's just being able to start off the year being on the podium is really exciting. So. And if we can dig into yesterday a little bit, some tough matches and lots of high points and lots of learning. Give us a little feel of, of the rivals of the matches that you had. Uh, so yesterday my first match was against Serbia. It was a good match. Uh, she's a good, uh, very strong fighter. So uh, I started off the match behind, but I was able to stay calm and then uh, able at the end to... Uh, get ahead and win that match. And then next I fought Brazil, which again uh, was a very tough match. And then in the quarterfinals, uh, I was against Rachel Booth from Great Britain. Mm -hmm. Throughout the day, I just gained more and more confidence sure. going match by match. And then after I won that match, I was super excited. And then going into the semifinals, uh, fighting Marta, I fought her once previously okay. before. So uh, there's obviously a lot to learn from that match. Uh, I wasn't obviously thrilled with what happened. Sure. There's a lot of learning to be done, so I'm excited to go back and keep training harder. And of course, we'll get to watch all of that and enjoy that journey with you. On that journey, obviously, your father is your coach. What's that dynamic like having also your mother as like the team manager as well, to have that close support around you? It must be helpful. Uh, yeah, it's obviously uh, super helpful. Uh, I'm super, I guess, blessed to be able to have that support around me, not only for my parents, but my brothers are also on the Canadian national team. Uh, they were just fighting at the, in Tunisia at the World Championship, so my whole family was there too. And just my whole family back home, we're a Taekwondo family, so we've all done Taekwondo, we're all black belts, so it's just super cool to be able to experience it alongside my family and the people that are closest to me. The journey between now and the Grand Prix final, which is obviously at the end of the year, thoughts, plans, do you go straight back into training? Do you take a little break now? Uh, we'll, we'll go straight back into training. Um, next month in July, we have the Pan, our Pan Am Championships. Oh, so we'll be training hard for that and hopefully. Sure. Well, of course, we wish Skylar the very best for the Pan American Championships, all the upcoming events. And thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. <laughs> Much more to come on the World Taekwondo Recap Show. Stay tuned for more.